guys, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's World About Art. So today I'm going to do a watercolour and pen portrait of two African wild dogs. Um, I'll go in with pencil first and make all the adjustments with proportions and stuff that I need. And then I'll go over the whole line drawing with a fine liner, a waterproof fine liner. And then I'll finish off with watercolours and I'll talk you through my process as I go. So I'm drawing a pair of wild dogs today. Um, I like to practice drawing things in groups. Um, it's fun to just yeah, have a little scene almost like rather than have just one animal standing side on it sort of creates a feeling of it or a mood in a picture. So I've drawn these two African wild dogs and they're hunting and they're on the, on the lookout for some food. So now I'm going over the outline in pen because I'm happy with the underdrawing with pencil. So I'll go over the outline with pen and then I'll rub out the pencil marks and I just add spots here or there and anything I've missed I can tidy up. So now I'm going into the base layer of watercolour with these two dogs and everywhere that's going to be the tan colour I go in with yellow ochre. Now I add a little bit of transparent sienna just to build up some warmer layers and get some more texture going on their bodies. Then I make up a grey using various mixes of, ultra, of cobalt blue and uh, burnt umber and that makes a nice brownie grey and I make that up in different consistencies to get different tones of brownie grey. Now in his white areas, I just add cobalt blue. I wet the paper first and add a light wash of cobalt blue and that puts the shadow in his white area or in their white areas. So now I'm adding a, a thicker mix of burnt umber and cobalt blue um, into, into the darker areas and just building up layers and I'll do this a few times getting the dark areas how, as dark as I want them. I'm actually adding a very dark mix of cobalt and burnt umber just around the trim of his ears and then I go in with a bit of Payne's grey just for around his nose and I've mixed a little bit of burnt umber with it just to brown it off a little bit and then I start to go around uh, the markings on their coats. Then I go in with a little bit of transparent sienna um, and a little bit of burn umber mixed in with it and I take that around uh, all the light areas and then I start to work on the noses and just darkening up the darkest areas around his face and again a little bit of transparent sienna just to warm up the colours and then I take that around both of the dog's bodies. I do exactly the same thing for the second dog. I work in the layers of uh, burnt umber and cobalt blue and I add some uh, warmer browns to it as well just to um, make it look a bit more natural. 
and I do that for the second dog as well. We'll just keep on going and building up the layers through the both dogs. So now I'm adding different values of brown, so different mixtures of my burnt umber and transparent sienna and cobalt blue all together and I'm taking that around the body of this first dog. Then I go in with my uh, fine liner again and I just do the details around their eyes and around their nose and their mouths and add a bit of definition around their ears and their darkest dark areas. So it's wonderful being able to mix pen with watercolour. I really, really enjoy it. So I take the dark around those other ears of that other dog. Then I start to darken around the spots. They've got very dark fur around their patches. So I pop that in and I pop the shadow down the back leg. Just all with my with my fine liner. So now I go back in with a little bit of Indian red over the top. Um, I mixed it with a brown, just a bit of Indian red, and it just makes a beautiful warm brown. Just to add another another tone to the different browns within the dog's coats. Then I add in a, a green earth background. I just thought they needed a little bit of background to contrast with them. So yeah, I added a nice little touch of earth green. So now I go in around all their darkest areas with a touch of Payne's Grey and a bit of burnt umber mixed in with it. And I am starting to add the finishing touches now, just getting to the end of it. And I add a bit of transparent sienna within their spots, just to add a bit more depth of colour and tone. And I blend out some, some harder areas that looked a bit hard, a bit sort of liney. So I soften those up, add a bit more shadow onto his back legs and around his tail and onto the other dog. Add a bit more texture on that second dog's neck and then onto the first dog. And now darken up the darkest parts of their ears with Payne's, pure Payne's Grey. Do it around their eyes, down to their noses. Just add a little bit of fur texture here and there shadow on that second dog's leg. Then back onto the first dog's shadows. Then I go back into the blue areas and I add the shadows with cobalt blue, just make them a bit stronger around both dogs' white areas. Then I add a touch of gouache to both dogs just to add the highlights where they're needed, just a little bits here and there. And we're just about done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I had an absolute ball painting these African wild dogs. So yeah, um, I'd love it if you click like and subscribe and I shall see you guys for the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you then. Okie doke. Bye.